Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Haley, and I know I'm not here today, but I'm going to teach you how to factor perfect square trinomials. Say that five times fast. Perfect square trinomials. Um, I would first like to review with you rules of factoring. The GCF is your first rule of factoring. Difference of two squares and perfect square trinomial. Let's write some examples of each one. Okay, so GCF would be something like you have 2x squared plus 4x. You first want to factor out the GCF, which in this case would be 2x. And you're left with x plus 2. That is your first rule for factoring. The second rule is finding and looking to see if there are difference of two squares. Difference of two square example would be two perfect squares. X squared is a perfect square. Nine is a perfect square. It has a difference in between. When it's written in this form, it can be factored as the square root of X squared, which is X. The square root of nine, which is three plus and a minus. So we've learned how to do GCF, we've learned how to do difference of two squares, and now we're going to look at what happens when we have perfect square trinomials. And they have a special form. Their form is always the first term is squared, the last term is squared, and the middle term is double the square roots of the first and last term. So those are the three questions we're going to ask ourselves today. Is the first term squared? Is the last term squared? And is the middle term double the square root of the first and the last?